Alright. After coming down the elevator, there's a guy with the grenade launcher. Sh shoot him. Now go up these ladders. Shoot this guy. Now jump down here. Jump through these assassins and kill the grenade launcher guy. Pick up the ammo and go through this hallway full of enemies. And then go through the door. Now I go down from here. And go up here, collect the ammo, and shut off the switch. Rinse and repeat to the three switches. The second one will have time, and the third one has another clip in it. Now, you get to this passageway with three paths, which I'll just call underwear lines, that's what they look like. First, take the down passage. You go to the very bomb, and then when you get to the very end, which takes a long time, go up here, pick up the clip, and turn off the switch. When you get back to the underwear lines, go up. You're, now, this is the last time I'll be saying underwear lines again. Shoot these guys, and shoot the assassins. It's optional to kill the assassins here, but it will get you some extra points. Now get up here. Shoot this. Keep shooting. There should be only one enemy. Go up the silt tunnel. Now, you, now we're in the subway. So, just keep shooting your way through the enemies. Go on the P1 door. And then, keep going down the numbers. Go down them again. Go down fifth one. And here's the last one. Now shoot the assassins on the vending machines. Don't shoot the ammo clips though or you'll get or you're not gonna be able to pick them up. Shoot just go through shooting every assassin and guard you see. Now there's dynamite on the floor, so be careful. Jump on the chairs, the subway chairs, so you don't fall. Shoot any guards on the vending machines or assassins. And go down this thing, this door. Now if you press the thing too hard, you're going to go back through the door, the button, if you press up too hard. You go down through this door, that looks, and there's that sign that says douche. Now jump at the very last second. If you jump too soon, you'll miss and fall. Same if you jump too far. Now shoot these guys and you see another douche sign. Now, there you are. So after jumping off that cliff, if you can make it, your time has to be perfect. But then shoot this guard off so he can't hurt you. Here's another dynamite thing. Wait for it to blow up. Better safe than sorry, right? Now lightly press the... No. Now, you can't go through here because... Oh wait, yes you can. So, what is all this anyways? Well, here we go. Jump. And, yeah. See, it's a big trick. So, it just takes you back. So what do you do? Go back through these doors if you went through all these. Now, 
to get to another area. Pick up the clip back here and shoot your way through all the enemies. Watch out for dynamite on the floors though. And there's another douche sign. Wait for the dynamite to blow up. Jump at the last second. Pick up the clip and what's in here? Still more enemies. Just wait for the dynamite to blow up again. So now you're on the subway train. Just keep shooting. The lights will go off sometime a lot, but don't worry about that. Just keep shooting your gun and eventually get to the boss. Here's the boss, who looks like some kind of Iran guy. He drops grenades and he has a machine gun, so be careful. A good tip is when he's not shooting or leaving his bolt bombs behind, just jump up here. Jump up on the stands. If he shoots his gun, then, then duck. But watch out, if he gets too close to you, you're gonna get hit. Just shoot the fuck out of him. And eventually, there you go. You've done it. So now, level 2 is completed. Time to move on to level 3. Now we're going to be halfway done with the whole game. We have received a threat of terrorist bomb planted in a nearby shopping mall. Terrorists have been trapped inside, so be careful. Now, if you, if you just saw Mel Gibson, he looks like he's a zombie or something because of his eyes. Eh, forget it. On with the level. To start off here, go forward and hit these guys. You'll see these ventilation shafts. They don't look like much, but they'll be a big thing later in the game, you'll see. Or in the level. Now that we have a new enemy, or new enemies, we have guys with flamethrowers that can go everywhere, and we also have guys with shotguns. So, be careful. Go up these platforms and shoot the, the flamethrower guys. Shoot the hybrid looking guys. Go to the door. Now, when you see these things, that's where the ventilation shafts are a pain. You, you, have to, you have to time your jumps, or else, crap, you're fucked. What happens when you fall down here? You get sent back down a level, and sometimes down to the very beginning. So, what you do is jump up here, wait until the flamethrower guy has stopped using his flamethrower though, otherwise you're going to be screwed. Jump over him cautiously and then shoot him. It's kind of hard, but you'll get used to this stuff later in the level. Shoot the rocket launcher guy. Go down here in the corner for ammo, or for health. Wait for the guy to stop using his flamethrower. If you're on the platform and he's firing, just duck. Now, now, make sure that guy doesn't shoot you. Shoot you, get sent back down. Just shoot him. Now shoot the flamethrower guy so you don't have to deal with him. You fight enough with these guys. See? That's exactly what will happen. So, so, there we go. Now, the music kind of sounds like rap music, and speaking of rap, we're going to have to wrap this up because, well, because I'm just being safe with the 10 minute limit. So, that's all for now. 
Keith. I'm out. Tune in for more Let's Play Lethal Weapon for the Super Nintendo.